Turns out he wasn't my father. I keep telling you, you didn't look anything alike. Why do you keep falling for it? I thought I knew him. Okay. I miss him. Welcome to Trash Bin. I'm Noah. That's Cole. And we're back with Dream Daddy Part 4. Uh, you ready to do the load sad again? Yeah. Let's go to the food court. Okay. Let's go to the food Oh, you can do it. Okay, good. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, sure. Why the mall? Jeez, can a dad take his daughter to the mall? Will you buy me things? I will buy you a thing. Singular. Sounds like a deal to me. We drive in silence for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone and I should say something. You know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents, and that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do. Yeah. And that's okay, but also sometimes it's good to have the parents' perspective, because, you know, maybe the parents have also had to deal with similar situations, and maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is it's good to share. Love ya. Do you want me to share my vibrator? You have a Twitter? Uh, is that what they're called? What? N never mind. Look, sweetie, Mr. Vegeta said you haven't been participating in class and that you're not turning things in. Oh, I'm fine, pops. S senioritis and all that. I thought you liked Mr. Vegeta's class. Not since he touched the lunch lady, kid. We pull up to a stop. Oh, God, he's going to kick me out. Amanda, she's still texting. I debate for a second of slamming her head into the dashboard, but it passes. Just, I want you to know that you can talk to me, and you should talk to me. It got stuck in me once. Uh-huh. Haven't found it. I can tell that, whatever it is. She doesn't want me knowing Sometimes it vibrates. It, and that's frustrating. I can feel uh, it in the back of my throat. I heard Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California. That's exciting. Yep. Are you bummed that you guys aren't going to the same school? Yep. Thanks, Dad. Amanda keeps texting. She stifles <laughs> a laugh. What's so funny? Looking at those maymays, huh? Is it that doggy? It's a, that doggy. Uh, you don't maymay? get memes. No, it's a. It's you the, don't get the it. Doggy meme. You wouldn't get it. Yeah. No. Is it? A, oh, I just love minions. Is it a minion? Please, can I see it? Is it a minion? You don't. You won't understand funny to you? Okay. It's old? Who are you texting? Noah. Oh god, I'm coming to the game. Dude, dude, dude. Who's Noah? He's I don't like right this. Here. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I didn't know this was a thing. <laughs> 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 Claiming voicing him. My friend. Does he go to your school? Yeah. I, I, I think. Do you like Noah? What? what? <laughs> it's crazy. No. It's crazy. Dad. Uh, I can't believe you would. Uh, Dad. I mean, jeez. Why would you? Uh, uh, gross. Sorry. Sorry. Just ask him. A little defensive there, aren't you, bitch? Dad, he's just my friend, okay? He's my friend. He kind of looks like me, but it's fine. These guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend. Okay. 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 Stop looking at me. He fucked you, didn't he? Jeez, Dad! This is going well. Well, good talk. Love you, kiddo. Oh, okay. A smile as often as you can. It will make others around you feel more comfortable. We arrive at the mall. Big indoor shopping there. <laughs> I'll vibrate it. <laughs> With a couple different floors. It's kind of dead, but that doesn't stop a mall security guard from yelling at a group of loitering teens. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. Hell yeah. Language! Language, watch your mouth! You understand me, you stupid son of a- Okay. 
Heck yeah. Better. We approach the food court and evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here. Uh, what are you in the mood for? Bread dripped in sugar? Bread dripped in cheese? Or um, on it? Or do you want me injected some... What? Do you want me... Oh, do you want me to inject some fatty fat directly into your bloodstream? There you go. Ah. I, I literally hand. read that as, do you want me... Like the freaking, like, yeah. do you want a bath? Do you want dinner? Or me? And I was so disturbed there for a second. Yeah, I think I'm done. No. I was so disturbed. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm an attractive one. <laughs> would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? It would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. We order a giant pile. Of... <laughs> we order a giant pile of chips and unnaturally orange cheese from. A... <coughs> Very enthusiastic. Gosh, Dad, you're so gross. Stone teenager. We take a seat at a rickety table and dig in. These are bad. These are very bad. But also, strangely yum yummy, yum yum in my tummy with the cummy. I don't want to eat this anymore. But I will. We enjoy the fluorescent cheesy goodness together until we're all out of nachos. So, so a button on a balloon, see if it floats. Something's been bothering me for a while. Can you explain memes to me? Which meme? All, all memes? I feel like you're doing it deliberately. And I'm going to ask you to stop. I don't think you're going to listen. Amanda sighs. But I'm going to ask you. <sighs> Places her head in, her head in her hands. Dad, it's complicated, okay? See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time the meme gets to whatever you are, yeah. all of the youths have done it to death. So it's not funny anymore. No, no, you're talking about memes. What? I want to know what memes are. What are memes? I only know about memes. You you're... just did that backwards. No, I want to know about memes. Meme? Memes, yeah. Memes. But you just dis you said it memes. I don't know what this meme thing is. I've only known memes with the minions. Yeah, okay, they're the minions. They're the minions. And what's worse than that is that movies and TVs and even video games like this one will try to jump in on the meme train, which is based on how long it takes to make them, the meme will no longer be dead. Well, will be long dead, but by the time it comes out, so it's just it dates it, and it isn't funny, and... Oh shit, what? I... I want to die. Dad, I'm begging you. Always changing the subject. Uh, you know what I really like? I really like that, uh, ba Bad Luck Brian, or the, uh, the uh, douchebag, douchebag Dan, is that what he's called? Have you heard of Goatsy Dad? Look that meme up. Goatsy? Yeah, look that meme up. I, it'll be really funny, I promise! You, mm. where to now? Is that, is that your daddy? No. Your real daddy? Wanna go to that goth store? What the freak is wrong? Fine, what? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as an anti-establishment despite being the exact establishment. I don't know what store you're talking about. You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on what people fought so hard against in the punk and hardcore movement in the 70s and 80s. Dude, you gotta be a little more specific. The one you threw up in that one time? Oh, that one! Yeah, I did that a lot. Amanda runs into the store with me trailing behind her. She makes a beeline for the back. There it is. You can still see the outline, kinda. I'm so proud. You should pee on it now. Speech? Amanda. Speech! 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 All right. I'll do it if you stop chanting. Amanda stops immediately. Speak. I clear my throat. 
Ew. Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate a historic moment that would forever shape history on a day very much like today. Some five years ago, our very own Amanda and Dad had too much... <laughs> Your last name is Dad! I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I just sat down. Our very own Amanda and Dad had too much blue raspberry A-A-D. slushy on an outing to the mall. After begging her father to take her to dead goth and beyond to buy a rainbow suspender, she proceeded to throw up all over display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among of our possessions. Thank you very much. This really is a hot topic. Amanda is moved. She begins clapping. Slow at first, then faster, and more vigorously. Several other patrons turn their head. One of them also starts clapping. I bow my head. Oh, hey, chain wallets. While Amanda bruises, busies herself looking at band t-shirts, I try and find something of interest to myself. Not much for a dad to look at in dead, dead, goth, and beyond. Uh, yeah, let me save some money. There's a big cardboard box of markdown items. I'm pretty sure $4 for a purple eyeliner is a good deal, I think. I wonder if I could look good in purple eyeliner. Hell yeah, I would. I'd look like the best bitch in town. Look, this is very important to me. I overhear a... St- that's, oh. that's a- <laughs> I overhear a stifled argument over a cash register. An old, older gentleman is carrying a garment and showing it to a bored looking cashier with pink hair. I like him. He's pretty. I, I can see. I, I don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. Listen, when I bought this online, the website said the blouse was Victorian-inspired. However, when I received it, it is clearly held to the trademark of Edwardian dress edge. Do you, Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager? I see. <laughs> well, it would seem that I have outstayed my welcome. Hey, hi. Good day! Hey, shopkeeper, your su- superiors will receive a strongly Dude. worded letter by post. Dude, you're a vampire. <coughs> oh. oh. Am I dreaming? What did I take? The man rolls around and storms out, his little coattails trailing behind him. I can tell, I can't tell if they're Victorian inspired or regarding in nature. I love him. I want him. I'm going to trot up to me with the t-shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Hey, Dad, Tron 5000? Yes, I will buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. Thanks. At least it is only one this time. Amanda pops a shirt onto the counter and grins at the cashier. I love your hair. The cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up, radiating hatred. I hand her a 20. This is so, so, what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls her eyes so hard. It's I'm a girl. She'll pull something. That's Damien. Uh, he's in here all the time. Obsessed with Victorian fashion. Black collars. So many collars. She hands Amanda her bag and it's clear the conversation is over. We oh make our way out of the collar. store and head home to get some rest. I can see the rainbow. Amanda and I sit on the couch trying to find something to watch over our bowls of ice cream. Oh, Cool! Long haul paranormal ice road truckers. Ghost truckers. No, ice road ghost truckers. There you go. Is on. Your favorite, right? Ah, uh, hell yeah! They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but they're also hunting ghosts at the same time. Also, the trucks are haunted. This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Colum and Flint Dogbone, the twin brother truck Argos hunting duo, find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh no! The ghost done got control of the truck. I can't steer on them damn ice roads. Let me hear Sammy even VP me to try to communicate with the spirits. Flint, we're about to die. I almost got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds like you're saying you're going to die. That's because we're about to die, you. This is art. The episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go to and start our arguments on the internet. No, that is not how you get vibrators out of there. I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Colin and Flint Dogbone after their disastrous ice road accident. Afterward, I crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep. Always try to make others around you happy. No. You can save bookmarks directly to your desktop. Yeah. 
Morning, sleepyhead. You have a knife at my throat again. You're going in the basement. Again this time. Creative. You have never let me have mo five more minutes. So get up. Fine. We have cereal for breakfast and spend the morning putting together furniture. Amanda is much better at interpreting the tiny manuals where we put together a few shelves and one desk, and I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a bookcase. So, you excited for the cookout today? Eh, there's food. I'm excited. I'm all over those terrible store-bought sugar cookies that everyone brings to par- Don't call me out like that, first off. <laughs> Because those are good. The one with the icings on them? Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't you? No. They're good. They're good. They're good. They're good. Don't call me out like that, game. Yeah, those are bad. <laughs> I gave you a chance, game. I gave you a chance. And this is what you do to me? I hate you. Which means there are more for me. And that's how I look at it, too. When no one eats it, I'm the only one that does. Because they're good! Don't you want to meet some of the people of the neighborhood? I want those cookies! <laughs> I want them! I mean, I do, too. No, you don't! You're right. They're terrible. I will end you. I'll probably end up standing uncomfortably in the corner with a plate of food and hope that nobody talks to me. Dad, you're a beautiful work in progress. We will get that butterfly to a, a butterfly. Get that butterfly to emerge from the cocoon. A social butterfly. Well, we better start getting ready. We definitely don't want to be late. I'm going to wear my underwear. No, no, we have to be fashionably late. We should have to go cook out on time. You know what? We're going early just because you said that. I had no, to go don't, no, I don't want to go. And don't I, drag me. I will. Listen, Amanda, uh -huh. don't mess this up for okay, me. What, what? I could get some hot dad. But you said you were going to stand in the corner and not talk to anyone. Uh, I'm still going to get some hot dad ass. You're going to get the corner? Yeah. Okay. The sleep, the, Walk across the let street. Let go of my hair. The store bought veggie plate. I'm a terrible cook if it doesn't involve a grill. Let go of my hair. Shh, 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 shh. I'm not going to hurt you. We're here already. You can let go. I guess we're not as easy. Early as we thought we were, Joseph's backyard is already packed with people, and the smell of hot dog wafts through the air. Small children run through his sprinkle, and adults chat in small clusters. I set our veggie plate down on the table next to two other veggie plates. Huh. Hey, there's Joseph. I wave to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open wide. Welcome. I'm so glad you two are here. And you brought veggies! Oh, you're not vegan, are you? Let me introduce you to the family. Kids, come on over. This is Grace, my Hades. Why does that... that shed say gas chamber? Grace, introduce yourself. Hi. There you go. This is Christian and Christy. They are twins. Stare creepily at each other and say nothing. Then, of course, there's our youngest, Krish. 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 Wait, where is Krish? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. Oh, and how for that could I forget? My lovely wife, the Virgin Mary, who never puts out. Joseph pecks her on the cheek. She smiles. Ah, Mary, sweetheart, did you put uh, Krish to bed? I'll have to go look for him. What? He laughed too. Joseph takes a moment and regains his composure. Mary, this is our new neighbor, Sad, and his daughter, Amanda. I'd shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. You don't have a glass of wine. I can get one. I'll get two. I love her. Nice to meet you, Mary. Oh, charmed. Well, I have to get over there now. Ha, 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 stuck up bitch. My wife has a wonderful sense of humor, but please, you two, enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Here, let me introduce you around. This is Robert. He lives just across the way. A haggard man nursing a glass of whiskey, eyes me up and down. Oh, daddy. Hey. Hey. I'm sad. 
I'm very sad. Mm -hmm. It was nice to meet you. I like him sad. He takes a long swig of his drink. John. Sad and his daughter just moved in next. Ah. If you ever need recommendations on where to get drinks in this town, Rob's your main man. I told you. Don't call me Robert. Right? Only in bed. Oh, got it. Okay. Robert ambles away without saying goodbye. He's not really a people person. Wow, I think I've actually met everybody else. Great, I bet you're excited to get to know everyone better. Hope you both enjoy yourselves. Amanda and I mill around and try and find some food spread on the table. I pick up some deviled eggs. Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling them with baked cookies. Uh, I don't want to go make friends. Come on, Dad. Who are you going to party with when I'm gone? Hookers. And I don't want to have to do pleasant trees. I just want to skip straight to the dick. Dad. Straight to sucking. Dad, no, no. Sucking. Dad. Licking. Dad! <laughs> We're going to talk about the weather. Do it. Go. Make friends. But how could I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That's just bad parenting. That plate, that plate of cookies is my new dad. Goodbye. I'll kill that one, too. Amanda shows me into the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I look around the party, and I'm surprised to see some familiar faces. Isn't that the barista from the coffee spill? Mm. What a cool guy, oh. and mysterious. Didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my head? <laughs> Isn't that the guy throwing a fit in the dead <laughs> goth and beyond? Isn't that Amanda's oh. teacher? Hey, I know Frank. <laughs> <laughs> but wait a second. All these people live in our cold ye sack. That can't be right. I'd better investigate. Should we stop it there? Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Dream. Where? No! That's not how I intro this! I did it wrong! Okay. Oh, I forgot! Okay. Ready? Uh.